assalamu alaikum dear students today we are going to learn addition and subtraction of fractional numbers so these are the questions which a student from 5 to 7 can learn here you can see these numbers are written in fraction form it is 7 by 12 plus 5 by 16 you can see these two numbers they are called denominators and in these two fractions denominators are different so how we are going to do we will make denominator same of these two fractions these two fractions 7 by 12 and 5 by 16 so let's start how to do i have written 7 by 12 plus 5 by 16 so where these two numbers are becoming same we are making their denominator same you can take denominator same by doing lcm and by reading the table of 12 and 16 at one point there you can find common multiple of these two numbers this is called lcm and in this in this way we can make their denominator same 12 48 and 16 3 48 so if i am multiplying 12 by 4 so i will multiply 7 by 4 in the same way here 16 multiply by 3 so i am multiplying 5 by 3 in the same way 7 4s are 28 12 4s are 48 5 3s are 15 and 16 3s are 48 so you can see the denominator are same of these two numbers so when we are having the same denominator we have to add or subtract the numbers according to the given conditions so here i am having a plus sign so i am adding 20 28 into 15 so it is making 43 my answer would be 43 by 48 so there is another method of doing this sum so let's do this here you can see another method of doing the same question so this method is called butterfly method 7 by 12 plus 5 by 16 i have written then i have done these lines because i am going to multiply these numbers 7 is being multiplied by 16 and 5 is being multiplied by 12 so when i am going to multiply 7 by this 16 i am getting 112 and when i am multiplying this 5 into 12 i am getting 16 but the denominator numbers will be multiplied together again for making the denominator same so if i'm going to multiply 16 by 12 i'm getting 192 so 192 we are writing again because in this way we are making denominator same so 112 is being added into 16 so it is making 172 and 192 denominator is the same here 172 is being divided by 4 so i am getting 43 192 is being divided by 4 so i got 48 so, so our answer is 43 by 48 so we are getting the same answer as we have got in the previous method i hope you got it so let me do A subtraction sum. Here is another question of subtraction. Seven by eleven minus seven by thirty-three. As I have told you earlier, before doing addition and subtraction of rational numbers, we have to make denominator same. Seven by eleven minus seventeen by thirty-three. So thirty-three is divided by this 11 so i'm making multiply here 11 by 3 i'm doing multiplication here so 11 is being multiplied by 3 and in the same way 7 is multiplied by 3 so the denominator are same in this way 
So I got 7 by 3, 21 and 11 by 3, 33 minus 17 and 33 would be the same because they are making the same denominator. So now our denominators are the same. So I am going to subtract 17 by 21. So I got 4 by 33. So this is our answer. I hope you got it. So let me do one more question. Here you can see another question by having mixed number fractions. 1 whole 3 by 4 plus 3 whole 2 by 3. So what we are going to do first, we will change the mixed number into improper fraction first. So for 1s are 4 and by adding 3 into it, I got 7 by 4. 3 multiplied by 3, 3 3 is a 9 plus 2, 11 by 3. So after changing them into improper fraction, I have to make their denominator same. So I am going to multiply 4 by 3 and 3 multiplied by 4. So in the same way, the same numbers will be written with the numerator also. So 7 3 is a 21, 4 3 is a 12, 11 4 is a 44, 4 3 is a 12. Here you can see the denominators are same. After making denominator same, we are going to add 21 into 44. So our answer will be 65 by 12. So we, because our question is being started with mixed number, so our answer should be in mixed number as well. So I am going to divide 65 by 12. 12, 5 is a 60. So my remainder is 5. So we are going to start from this answer. Then we are writing remainder by divisor. So 5 whole 5 by 12 is our answer. So there is another method of doing this sum. Here you can see 1 whole 3 by 4 plus 3 whole 2 by 3. So in this method I am taking these whole numbers separately. So 1 and 3. So I made 4 by adding these two numbers. So I have separated, I have separated these two whole numbers. Now my fraction would be 3 by 4 and 2 by 3. So after taking these two fractions, I have to make the denominator same as I have made earlier. 4 3 is a 12 and 3 3 is a 9. 4 3 is a 12, 4 2 is a 8. So my denominator are same here, you can see. So 9 is added into 8. So they are making 17 by 12. I have divided 17 by 12. 12 ones are 12. My remainder is 5. So here is the whole number. Answer is always in whole number. So I am going to add this 1 into this 4. Because 1 and 3 are added together to get 4. And these 2 are also whole number. In the same way this 1 is also a whole number. I am adding 1 into this 4. And my whole number is 5. So in the same way. My whole number is 5 and this remainder is 5 and the divisor is 12. 5 whole 5 by 12 is the answer. I hope you got it, you understood it in a better way. Thank you, Allah Hafiz.